are continuing to investigate at this hour after they say two teen boys were viciously attacked by a group of teenagers right outside a local school. News 12's Noel Lilly has been speaking to worried parents in the area and gives us a closer look at who police are searching for now. Yeah, thankfully we are told that those two teenagers are expected to be okay, but not only did this happen right across from William H. Taft educational campus, but it also happened right in front of a local daycare. The teens were attacked back on December 20th, but police are now releasing these photos of the suspects as they continue the search for them. We're told that the alleged culprits are teens themselves. Cops say the victims were in front of 1475 Sheridan Avenue around 1.30 p.m. when the group attacked them, hitting the 14-year-old in the head with a baseball bat multiple times, then slashing the older kid's hand with some sort of sharp object. The alleged suspects then took off in different directions on foot. I spoke to a superintendent of a different building and he said he's consistently had similar issues with young people and violence in his own building, despite asking the school for help. Our life is in danger because they are increasing the hostility every time, every week, and we have a peace period right now because the school is closed. But on Tuesday, we go back to the same nightmare and we're going to be living on fear because these kids are taking over. Now, the Department of Education could not confirm for us if any of the attackers or victims are DOE students, but police did tell us again that everyone involved is a teenager, and we know that this attack took place during school hours. That's the latest for now. We'll continue to keep you updated as police continue their search. In Mount Eden, Noelle Lilly, News 12.